Hello everyone, it's me, the Bowmeister, and welcome to episode 0 of the Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke. Want to go over several rules real quick, of course, you know, if you haven't learned already, Nuzlocke's are uh, fan-made challenges of the game. Hang on, let me turn on the turn down game audio real quick. I'll turn down there, there. Okay, so, like I said, it's a uh, Fallon Challenge game. Basic rules of the Nuzlocke is that you get... One Pokemon per route for every route that you manage to go to, whether it's a cave, or a route, or a sea, or wherever have you. And then the second part of the challenge is if you have a Pokemon that dies, or it faints in battle, it's considered dead and you can no longer use it. I'm adding a couple of little extra rules this time around. Uh, rule one, whatever my trainer number, the last number of my trainer number is, will be the Pokemon that I will select for, or will be my starter Pokemon. So 1 through 3 will be Chikorita, 4 through 6 will be Cyndaquil, and 7 through 9 will be Total Dial, and 0 will be a will be my choice, essentially. Um, event Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon like Sudowoodoo, I mean, there's not many. Sudowoodoo, the Red Gyarados in the Rekka Rage, and uh, like Togepi and Violet, or the, like the Togepi Egg, whenever you hatch it, will be considered event Pokemon encounters and will not count to my route catching total. You'll see so this all pop up on screen as I get this edited through. And of course, last but not least, I will also include a legendary clause with uh, Entei, Raikou, and Suicune. Those three are considered roaming legendaries and will sometimes be the first encounter that you may that you will come across on a route after you release them from Yukatri- I'm never gonna say this town name right. Uh, Yukatri? Yukatri City? Uh, the fourth gym. When I do that, or when those are free and they become the they become roaming, if I run into them, they will not count as my encounter of the route. So if I come up to them, let's say Route 38, for example, which is gone on the way to Olivine. If I come across them on the route to Olivine, this video is going to loop, so I do apologize. Uh, <laughs> uh, if I come across them on the route uh, between uh, Yucatreek and Olivine, then that will be count considered a non-encounter, <laughs> and I will just include that. You know, I will just consider that a non-existent encounter and go with whatever the first encounter is on that, that next availability. Again, you'll see all those pop up on the bottom of the screen. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna leave the space theme because why not? And again, as usual, you'll see the Pokemon on screen as I get them. Oh. One more roll. I forgot to add this, just because um, in this game you don't actually get it get the ability to catch Pokemon until after you get um, until actually well until like 10, 20 minutes into the game sometimes, depending how fast you speed through the first section. So until I get Pokeballs will be the first time I get uh, Pokemon. So wh whoever I battle in routes 29 and 30 before I get. Um, the egg to give to uh, Professor Elm. Those will all count as non-existent. Or those will be non-encounters, and I won't worry about them until I get the Pokeballs. All right, that's it for the rambling on this episode. Thank you so much for watching. See you at the first episode on June 9th. This episode, this will also air, or this episode will. I think it's the fifth. If I. If I've calculated this out correctly, due to this being, this will go up June fifth at noon, twenty twenty one. This for those of you who have have not watched this and are catching this at the very beginning of the playlist. All right, I will see you next time, and I have been obediently yours. <laughs>